Corazol resident Armando Witz remains on life support tonight at the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital following a hit and run on Saturday night on College Road. Police say that the driver of an SUV knocked Witz off his beach cruiser bicycle and did not stop to render assistance. The impact sent the bicycle in one direction and Witz to the pavement causing severe head and body injuries. Shortly after 8 p.m., police responded to information of a traffic accident on College Road in Corozal Town, where upon arrival, a male person later identified as Armando Witch, 31 years of a G Street South address, Corozal Town, was seen lying on the side of the road, and beside him, his bicycle, which was extensively damaged. According to police investigation, Armando Witz was riding from a west to east direction when he was hit from behind by a vehicle. The 31-year-old was on the way to visit with his girlfriend who lives in the White Cocal area when he was hit from behind. He was rushed to the community hospital in Corozal and within hours transferred to the KHMH for surgery. And according to the family, the doctors have advised them that Witz has a slim chance of survival. So went off from my work and when I reached the accident, well, I never see the body. So when I reached the hospital, well, my brother was, was in the hospital. So um, when I say he was all like bruised and that, so when I asked my brother-in-law who was who, like who took to the hospital, so um, he told me that a car um, hit him, no, hit my brother. And he was really, really hurt, but but when the doctor said that he was injured from his brain, he had really like, he was brain injured. So when um, the doctors said that, that we, we were kind of nervous because uh, we see that blood, everything come out from off of the of head. So the, um, that night, so like two hours after, the doctors took him to the police and um, to police city. Eliezer Acosta says that the family is hurt by the fact that the driver did not stop to render assistance. While they accept that accidents happen, their brother deserved to be treated better. The main thing is because we are humans. I personally think that um, if I do such, if I would have crashed something or somebody, I would have picked him up and take him to the hospital or something. For help. But yeah, I know. Better. Uh, uh, so, so what now? What are the doctors saying now about your brother's condition? We know that he's at the KHMH in Belize City and that uh, uh, he's not doing well. The doctors say that he, because he was his brain, that is the, the part when he, he was hit the floor, the, the street, that, that side like really damaged because the first thing that I really went off from him is his eyes, his eyesight. And yeah, so the, this by is the brain that really damaged right now. So the doctors say that this have like a 30 pro, the 30 percent possibility that he mm -hmm. in the police investigation with the assistance of witnesses has led to the detention of the driver of a Kia Sorento SUV with visible damages to the front portion. The vehicle was also impounded this morning. Police investigation have since led to one Kia Sorento being impounded since this morning and the owner is in police custody as we speak pending investigation into this traffic accident. Okay, so um, so that person will be charged or will be issued with a NI, uh, notice of intended prosecution or will be charged? Well, that is pending the outcome of the investigation as Mr. Witz is also in a critical condition at the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital as a consequence of the accident. Dwayne Moody for News 5.